Thank you very much uh, for the invitation to this uh, press conference. Um, on behalf of our research team of the University Hospital of uh, Basel, I would like to uh, talk about high sensitive cardiac uh, troponin and the distinction of acute myocardial infarction from acute cardiac but not coronary disease. We know that uh, troponins are elevated in uh, cardiovascular disorders such as uh, tachyarrhythmia, heart failure, hypertensive urgency, emergency, and Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, myocarditis, and such, all in the absence of a real coronary obstruction. With the gradual introduction of um, high sensitive cardiac troponins, on the one hand, we have improved sensitivity, and uh, many patients are now earlier detected with uh, the uh, diagnosis of acute myocardial infarction. But on the other hand, we have uh, um, the introduction of uh, high sensitive troponin has uh, caused considerable confusion among treating physicians as how to interpret the results of uh, minor elevation in cardiac uh, troponin T uh, high sensitive, since now many, many patients are positive for this value. Um, one of the most difficult uh, differential diagnoses uh, in acute chest pain probably is the distinction between um, acute myocardial infarction and cardiac but not coronary disease. So the, hypo the hypothesis of our study was that uh, high sensitive troponin and its early absolute change uh, are useful in this distinction. The study we're talking about is called APACE, which is short for Advantages Predictors of Acute Coronary Syndrome Evaluation. It's an ongoing prospective uh, international multicenter study. Currently, um, roughly 2,000 patients uh, enrolled with symptoms suggestive of acute coronary syndrome. The three cornerstones of the study are a meticulous patient history, electrocardiography analysis, and the measurement of novel cardiac biomarkers such as high sensitive cardiac uh, troponin. The primary goal of the study is the faster detection or exclusion of acute myocardial infarction. Uh, the main results of the study, uh, what you can see here are, is an area under the curve measuring the discriminatory power of high sensitive troponin and its early change, early meaning change in the first hour. Uh, I'd like to start with the green line, the green dotted line. This is high sensitive troponin measured at uh, presentation. The area under the curve amounted to a value of 0 0.89. Um, then we focused on uh, changes in the first hour. First of all, we had relative changes measured, uh, which is the blue line, yielding um, an area under the curve of 0 0.66. And absolute changes, which you can see in the um, orange line, had, had a much better discriminatory power uh, and yielding to an area under the curve of 0 0.89. Now, if we combine the presentation value of high sensitive troponin and its early absolute change in the first hour, the area under the curve even further increased to a value of 0 0.94. Now, this is all statistics, uh, and what we try to do is to uh, uh, tr translate these statistical results in uh, more clinically applicable terms. That's why we made up an uh, algorithm. It's a three-step approach. Um, of the 251 patients at the beginning, we at first sorted out all patients with relevant ST elevations. Then in a second step, uh, we uh, put patients in three groups according to their presentation value of high sensitive troponin. We have uh, on the left side um, all patients below the 99th percentile of high sensitive troponin, then a medium group and a upper group with all patients above 0 0.028 microgram per liter. All patients were then in a third step divided in another um, two groups with absolute changes being above or below 0 0.005. Well, what we can see in this algorithm is that basically all patients with acute myocardial infarction had presentation values of more than 0 0.028 or an absolute change um, of greater than 0 0.005 microgram per liter. This is leading to a positive predictive value of 79% and um, to a uh, relatively high value for a ne negative predictive value of 98%. Thank you very much for your attention.